Okay, this is Jay with the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We're going to tie a really cool squid pattern here on a tube using some simple and some interesting techniques. Anywhere from white saddle feathers to uh, tungsten jiggy bead to brushes. Uh, the point is, I think we're going to have some fun here and wind up with a fly that's really very effective. This is a Bob Pops tungsten jiggy bead. We're going to put it on our tube. This is the Predator Flexi Needle. It's the largest that Pro Sport Fisher offers. And you can, uh, you can trim it if you want to. I'm showing you the, uh, the attachment of the, the, lar the Predator tube. It's the largest tube and I've trimmed it down. And now here's the tricky part. Will this tungsten bead fit on there? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So I'm gonna show you how to make sure they always fit. What I'm doing here is I'm showing you how I can slide a large Pro Sport Fisher tube into a Predator size tube so that the, the tungsten bead will fit right over the end. Now I'm going to secure that with super glue, uh, super glue Loctite uh, Zappa Gap. Slide it on my Predator needle. Get it nice and fixed in there. And that's, uh, that's a, I'm going to leave about a half an inch in the rear. That's where my hook eye will slide in. And I just was making sure that I had plenty of room to fit my bead on. Now I've got a layer of uh, Loctite and uh, white. This is uh, Danville 210 uh, thread. Here's my white strung saddle hackles. And I'm starting with uh, fairly short ones here. These are only about four inch saddles. And of that four inches, I'm using about three and a half. I've got probably four, four saddles. Uh, I'm going to lash them down. I trim the butts off. I'm going to lash them down on that side of the tube. Then I'm going to get uh, another four. I don't count closely. I could do four to six. Um, I don't think the fish are counting. I like to have that wiggle and I like to have the f outward flare on those saddles as well. Now I'm using a fluorescent white medium. It's a hairline chenille here, hairline carded chenille. You could use Estaz, you could use a pearl Estaz, you could use chocolate's uh, filler flash. Um, you could use dubbing. It's all kinds of choices. Now this is a fair fly brush. It has rubber legs in it. It has white. It has orange. I think it even has some tan in it. I love this brush. Um, I get about two turns here. This provides the fullness and the, the main color theme uh, with the rubber legs. And then I'm going to add a little topping on this of an EP Invader brush. Now first I'm going to get uh, going to get things combed out there. This is a two and a half inch. Uh, it's a hot pink EP Invader brush. I'm putting it over the Fair Flies brush so that everybody's brushes get uh, get a spot in the sun here. Uh, this, is, this is a much thinner brush. Uh, it, it's very different. It doesn't have the same wiggle. Uh, it has a nice sheen. It has black tips. I only put a couple turns on there. I just wanted to have a little bit of a blush of pink on the front of this, um, on the front of this squid. And so I'm going to get it tied off there and a little bit of thread and probably a little bit of Loctite pinch down that wire. Here comes my tungsten bead. No, my Loctite. So one thing you'll notice is that these brushes are pretty much all being made these days with thinner wire than they were a couple of years ago. And that's nice. They, uh, they tie on better. They're not as bulky. Um, there's really been a wonderful evolution in these brushes. Uh, 
not only in their technical components but as well as the color varieties. Now that tungsten bead is um, is really nice to add uh, weight to the forefront of this fly. Uh, and uh, I know squid don't have eyes out in the front like that. <laughs> That's okay. One of the tricky things here is these these beads are they are different. So sometimes just melting the end of the tube will be sufficient to hold that on. Sometimes it's not. Um, so what I'm what I'm going to do here, I did flare the end of that tube and then I put it back on the needle. And what I'm going to do is build up a thread dam here between uh, uh, between that burr on the tube. You can see it there. It's a little bit of a bulge at the end of the tube. So I'm going to get my thread back going and a little bit of a little bit of Loctite, a little bit of cement, a little bit of elbow grease. Um, build up a thread dam there to keep, come on, get around there. To, to keep, by the way, this is uh, it's pretty much tied in the round. Um, I'm going to add an Arex uh, Predator stinger hook to this. Uh, I think it's a 2 watt. You can vary the size of the, of the hook. Uh, depending, uh, doesn't that look nice? Um, this fly has a lot of wiggle in the water, has the right colors uh, to, to imitate a squid. Um, I've been very, uh, this has been a very effective fly uh, offshore Pacific City for rockfish and lingcot and salmon. Have a great day. Have fun at the vice. Look forward to seeing you out on the ocean. Thank you.